Hello folks, today I will be showing you how to make simple, crisp, and innovative edits for your Roblox videos. Okay, not really innovative, but good edits in general. And, you do not have to use these methods for Roblox videos either. You can do any piece of gameplay of your choice. Before we dissect all of the methods, I will be listing some stuff I recommend for these edits. For recording, I highly recommend you use Nvidia Shadow Play. If you don't have an Nvidia graphics card, I recommend you use OBS or Xbox Game Bar to record gameplay. For editing, I'm currently using Premiere Pro. But if you don't have it, I recommend using Shotcut because it is pretty similar. And for the sake of this video, I will mainly be editing in Premiere Pro, but I will show you how to do the same techniques in Shotcut as well. Cutting the video is crucial, if you want to make a decently good video, it's basically the most required thing for a video. If you don't do this, you will be sorry, like seriously sorry. Assuming you have already recorded your video gameplay with your video recording software, you will need to drag and drop your video onto the timeline of your editor. Now if you don't know already, I will teach you how you cut a chunk out of a video. Select the razor tool, and then click around the area you want to cut out. Now click on the chunk and press backspace, then right click the empty space and press ripple delete. Now I will show you how to do this in shortcut. Move the white line to the start of where you want to cut, then hit the S key. Then move the white line to the end of the chunk you want to cut, and hit the S key again. Then select the chunk and press ripple delete. Now you know how to successfully create a cut. Now you will need to do this with your whole gameplay footage. I'm going to use this piece of Roblox gameplay I made with my friends a couple days back. Make sure you cut out all the uninteresting parts and leave the funny and entertaining parts. For the sake of making this video simple, I made a video consisting of three parts. Here it is. Um, yeah, it's part of shotgun. I what wait, the what heck? the heck? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I shot, I shot. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. Huh? Ghost is all. He can't. <laughs> Oh what? Okay, I okay. I oh, saw nothing there, brother. and I looked and I looked back, I, and he killed me. I spawned there. You took every one of them. I got them. Cheyenne, I cannot. I have no gun. Now I know what you are thinking. Fovelas, this looks like absolute shit. I know it does. I will show you how to unshoot this in a moment. This step isn't really necessary, it's just to enhance the entertaining factor of the gameplay, or to zoom into more important parts of the video, but in this case, we are trying to make a video that is funny, and this step will be useful. In Premiere Pro, choose where you want the zoom to start, and then cut it. Basically use what you learned from step 1, this section is where the keyframes will be present. Using the effect controls tab, set the value to where you want the close up shot to be tracked from, in this case I'm gonna track the camera to my friend here. Once you have done that, select this timer icon thing next to the position editor. This will enable keyframing, then move the blue line to add another keyframe, then set the position again. Keep repeating this process until it looks like the camera is moving with the thing you are tracking. I will now show you how to do this in shortcut. Cut out a section for where you want to zoom and track. Then click the button that says filters on the top. Then click the plus, and search up size position and rotate, then click the one that says it. Then locate the timer icon and press it. Now you can see your keyframes. You can basically do the same thing as Premiere Pro now. Now let's switch back to Premiere Pro, so I can show you what it looks like. Here is a time lapse. Now here is what the tracking looks like exported. Um, yeah, it's part of shotgun. I what wait, the what the heck? <laughs> For the layers, it still looks like shit. Just wait, we will make it better with the next step. Sound effects are added to really make the video pop. It also makes the video entertaining. This is good, but if you use too many sound effects, it makes the video cringe. So don't add too many, and it's also best to think about what sound effects you are using. If you are using some fart sound every 10 seconds of the video, then I literally do not know what to say to you. Overlayers. F*** you, you piece of shit, retarded ass human being. Where do I get these sound effects from? Well you can actually copy the link from a YouTube video and paste it into this website, called ytmp3.nu. 
and then you can download the mp3 from there, just be careful, because it tends to redirect people to different websites, but that's okay, because you can close out of it. Now I don't really have to show you how to import a sound onto Premiere Pro, because it's pretty straightforward. Just drag and drop it. But for shortcut, when you drag and drop, you have to hit the plus button in order for it to import onto the track. Here are some parts of the video I added sound effects to. Yeah, it's called Kapoya! Hey, wait, the what heck? the heck? <laughs> oh my what? Okay, I okay, I saw oh, nothing there, brother. and I looked and I looked back and you killed me. Hey Fovale S, that's a little better, but it's still empty. Well, I have a perfect solution for that, my friend. Text and subtitles can also be optional, but we will add it because it's good. Most modern YouTubers tend to do this a lot, so why don't we try it? Press the text button, type in a text you want, position it on the bottom, change the aligning of the text, change the font, add an outline, add an animation. Done. Now let's go to shortcut. Cut out a chunk, search text, click on rich text, type something up, align it, move it to the bottom. Now you can maybe make animations with keyframes, but it will be choppy, and you can customize it and whatnot. Now I will show you a time lapse of me editing text and subtitles in Premiere Pro. You can also add shake effects and extra animations, if you really wanted to. Now here is what it looks like. Hey, wait, what the heck? <laughs> wait, 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 I shot, I shot... Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 huh? Ghost is all. He can't. Uh, oh my god. What? Okay, I, okay, I saw nothing there, and I looked, and I looked back, and he killed me. I broke my brother. I spawned there. He took every one of them. Chayan, get them! Chayan, I cannot, I have no gun. We are basically pretty much done, but there is one final step. This step is the very last thing you do, before you export your video. You will need to add music, and do some polishing. For music, you have to choose a song, that goes well with your video, or else it will ruin the mood of the video. A great recommendation is Kevin MacLeod music. And for polishing it's recommended you go through your entire video and check, if there is any errors, or anything you would like to add. And there we go, your video is done, good job. Here is what the video looks like with some music and some finishing touches. Hey, wait, the what the heck? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I shot, I shot. What? Okay, I okay. I saw nothing there, and I looked, and I looked back, and he killed me. I spawned there. Took every one of them. Cheyenne, I cannot. I have no gun. Hey guys, I guess that's it for the video. Sorry for not using my voice for this video because I was actually like pretty sick when I was editing this video as you can tell by my voice <coughs> As you can tell by my voice, um, it's like croaking and stuff. So uh, So uh, yeah There's that and also you and make sure you subscribe so YouTube can like uh, Do something uh, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. See you guys later um, Yeah